Hey guys, this is SP and welcome back today to another video inside of my awesome world and as always we're going to first add a new fish to the fish tank and uh, there's been an update to Minecraft on the bedrock addiction so um, yeah that is, uh, that is what we're going to be looking at today. Now then I know this update actually came out a couple of weeks ago however I've, uh, I've been away for a bit, I've been away uh, on holiday and uh, I'm back now, uh, so I can check out the update, so yeah. Also, my fish tank is slightly broken, but we have a bucket of candy flush better, so let's go and uh, place that down, and there he is. Look at him, he's a nice little fella, isn't he? Look at him go, so uh, he's swimming around, he's having a great time. Now, then, if we get a bucket of water quickly, without drowning, that'll be a good idea. Uh, so you can see, like, it, before this update happened, it, it looked fine, now it's... Oh, I need to get more air than that. For sure. Oh, let me let my bubbles fill up a little bit. There we go. Looks like that's a bit better. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, it's a bit glitched, but if I just go and uh, place water on the same block as the ladder, make that water source block, as you can see, it just looks fine again now. So that's just all I'll have to do to make that work. And uh, I don't want to take that off, but I want to grab some water as well. So let's just grab a new bucket of water. Perfect. Okay, so now hopefully the fish tank should look fine and we have another new fish to be added. So this, uh, this new update uh, actually added a, a bunch of stuff. It added turtles, it added the drowned, uh, it added the nought, I, I, I can't remember called, like nought, naughty, nauticlus shells, I think, I can't remember exactly, <laughs> man, I had one job, these new shell things that allow you to craft the conduit, which is like an underwater beacon, there we go, that's as, as good as I'm going to say, it. but uh, we're going to get a reward fish from Fred anyway, so uh, today we're going to be having a bit of a look at the turtles, I think that's going to be the uh, the big plan, see, you know, what, what we can do with those, breed some turtles, find some turtles, all that good stuff, because, uh, it's a complicated process, I'll say that much, there's a lot to be done with the turtles, so let's go ahead and uh, allow ourselves uh, to get scanned by the eye scanner, which is apparently not not working at the moment, yep, something's broken on that, so uh, <laughs> what a surprise that this broken, I don't know, let's just go and break our way through then, we'll, uh, we'll get that fixed in a bit, anyway, good morning Sean, how are you doing buddy, are you alright? Blanking me as ever. Okay, well, moving on, we'll uh, go into Fred's office and uh, say hello to Miles the Mule. Good morning, Miles. What are you eating the wall for? That's his grand escape plan. He's like, I'll eat the wall, now we'll escape. And good morning, Fred. Uh, how are you doing as well? He's what, looking at his windows. I'll, oh, no, you're looking at me for a change. Right, uh, today's challenge is to kill a drowned. All right, Fred, I'll take out the drowned. I, I know how much you don't like drowned. So uh, I'll, I'll get one for you, don't you worry. We will go and uh, take out a drowned. So let's go and uh, head up and uh, find one. So drowned... Are hostile mobs, of course. Um, if a zombie drowns, like if a zombie goes underwater and drowns, it becomes a drowned. Okay, but drowned also. <laughs> it's like if it drowns, it becomes a drowned. And but there's drowned that does it. Yeah, so it's like getting complicated. But there's also uh, drowned will also spawn underwater in light levels of seven or less, which is the same as what the light level mobs need above more water, okay, so they'll spawn in rivers, swamps, and oceans, uh, so we just need to find a, uh, a dark place, basically, and hopefully we can find ourselves uh, some stuff, so the fact is now that hostile mobs don't swim up either, so a lot of my farms have been broken now, like, you know, like, like mob farms and stuff, because that kind of uses the mechanic that, that mobs will swim upwards, and uh, they don't do that anymore, so that's, that's going to be a little bit broken, unfortunately. Uh, so let's have a look. I see like witches and everything. I want drown though, please. Can, can I have some drown? Let's have a look. Uh, we'll have a little swim through here. I do have my helmet. Might be a good idea just to put that on just so I can uh, not drown myself. Okay. Uh, so yeah, uh, worst case, we can maybe find a zombie and get him in water and make him drown. I don't know. But uh, let's, uh, let's go and find one then, okay? I might need to go to, uh, to a little bit of a deeper bit because this isn't the most deepest ocean, but you can see we're opening up to much deeper areas. So maybe around here, I'll find some drowned. Aha, up ahead, I see one. So you can see how I just swum uh, really deep. I literally just came down here. I didn't even go that far. There's weird lava here. That's that's some sort of glitch. And a dolphin. Hello, dolphin. But here we have a drowned. Drowned can swim. And he's got one of those shell things. Okay, I don't know if it's guaranteed if you kill one that he drops the shell for you or not. Um, if he has a trident, I, I don't think it's guaranteed. But uh, let's have a look. Let's, let's take him out anyway. So you can see he swims at you. Um, if they have a trident, I think they can throw at you. He dropped one. Okay, so... Seems as I got it, I don't know if I got it right, what is it? It is a Nautilus shell. There we go, a Nautilus shell. So we uh, we took out a drown and got a Nautilus shell, which is pretty good, because um, you need those to make the conduit, and I, I kind of want to be getting them. So, um, yeah, there we go. Challenge <laughs> challenge complete. We managed to get the Nautilus shell. So, okay, well, that wasn't even the challenge. I mean, that would have been a real challenge. But what are the chances that the one guy we, uh, we found spawned with that? What's this? Build a nice garden. I think Fred made that sign about 100 episodes ago, and it's still just, <laughs> there's still nothing there, I mean, he's probably not happy with me, is he, but it, it, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, so, 
I'm going to carry on back this way and uh, yeah, I'm going to go and collect my reward fish. So here it is, my reward fish. Let's go and pick that up and uh, I'm going to go and uh, eat that in a moment. Just not yet. I'm not ready for it, as you can see. And um, we also, I'm going to go to my ender chest, put this Nautilus shell in there. Uh, so I'd need eight in total with one heart of the sea. As you can see, I have four hearts of the sea. Uh, I need eight in total. So the ways to get these Nautilus shells is by either through fishing or through finding uh, drowned with them. So yeah, you can do one of the one or the other. Uh, so we're also go going to grab those and that. And uh, we're going to go off in search of turtles now. That is the new plan. So I'm going to uh, go upstairs and uh, yeah, see if we can find any turtles. So the place to find turtles is on warm beaches. That's where they'll spawn in. Uh, so you might see them swimming about in warm oceans and stuff. And uh, we're going to be breeding them hopefully. Uh, but the breeding process takes a long, long, long time. Well, it doesn't, that doesn't take long, but the, uh, the hatching of the eggs takes ages. It takes a long time to hatch eggs, which is good because it's almost like, you know, when you breed cows or pigs or sheep or, you know, pretty much any breedable mob in Minecraft, it's an instant thing. It's, it's, it's easy, basically. There's no challenge to it. There's no long process. Whereas this is not easy. Like, if you want to, if you want to get baby turtles, you've got to put in a lot of effort, okay? Because the turtles will only, uh, only lay eggs on the beach that they spawned in or were born on. Say they were, you know, so that, that's basically the case. So, uh, this might be a warm beach, uh, so we're just going to keep an eye out now while we're flying around, seeing if we can find any turtles, okay? I mean, I do need a warmer ocean. I might be in a bit of a, a bad area. I mean, anywhere near coral reefs is always good, although there isn't really any coral reefs over this way. Um, okay, let's have a look. Is this any... I mean, if they spawn in, they spawn in. That's all I need to find. I just want to find some that are spawned because then I'll know they'll be right by their home beach and it'll be a bit easier. So, I don't know if this is going to be a good turtle place or not, uh, so we'll have a keep, keep having a look around there. There's an Enderman over there. Okay, well, you're not quite the uh, the guy I'm after. I'm just going to do a little back and forth. Doesn't look like we're going to find them. So, you just got to basically search your beaches, okay? I don't think these are warm beaches, though, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. No, okay, I was wrong. They are warm beaches. Okay, we've got one turtle. Was there another one over here? There's two here. Okay, perfect, okay? Now, if you kill a turtle, you'll get seagrass, okay? And that's how you can get seagrass, if you're an idiot, okay? The clever person gets, uh, gets shears... And just swims down and, and, and picks up the seagrass like that. There you go. You see, we, we got the seagrass pretty much straight away. Okay, they're swimming off. How, how dare you? I need to uh, I need to breed you. Come on. <laughs> so uh, let's have a look. Have we got... Uh, they both just swam off into the ocean. What are you doing, hey? All right, this could, this could be... Because these guys are pretty fast. This could be a tricky task, okay? Let's just give you that. There we go. And give you that. Okay, please. That's it. Have a, have a baby. That's it. So now they're going to do the little breeding thing. And one of them will actually become pregnant. I think it looks different on the bottom or something. You can tell when one's pregnant. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I can't remember. I, I'm sure I heard that said somewhere. But one of these is now a pregnant turtle. So if I, they'll actually follow if you have seagrass, kind of like any other animal would. So one of them is the mother. One of them is the father. So the mother is now going to go and lay eggs on the beach. And it looks like this one is the mother because she spawned on, I think, one of these beaches over here. And she looks like she's swimming back to it. Okay, the other guy doesn't seem to care too much. Uh, so we've just got to wait for them now to swim back to their home beach, okay? And it is dark, of course it's dark, so let's just uh, let's just wait. And then once they're on there, they'll start find they'll just find a good sand block. And it, maybe I mean I don't know. I've got to keep an eye on these because one of them I might have, I might be following the wrong one. He might have snuck away and swim. So any moment now, it will uh, it will happen. They'll swim to their home beach. I'm hoping anyway. Well, they've been swimming in this direction for quite a bit. This is the home beach. It looks like this might be what we're looking for now, okay? Uh, this spider has got to go. I'm sorry, spider, but you need to get out of here because uh, hostile mobs are not nice to turtles. Okay, I'll protect you, all right? So they're going to come over. This is They're now on the home beach, all right? They sw I, I thought they'd swim straight over here. They took a bit of a detour. Um, and now they'll... Okay, you, you stand back, you. All right, there we go. Uh, so now what they'll, they'll do is they'll go over to some sand over here, okay? That's what you're supposed to do anyway. Alrighty, and then once they're over at the sand, they will, uh, are you, let me give you a helping hand, there you go, and then he'll start digging, <laughs> I think he was trying to dig like on somewhere, so they start digging and then they'll lay their eggs, man, that was hard work, you are not a very good mother, I'm going to be honest, this might be the first time you've laid eggs though, so you might not know what you're doing too much, so then, if we just push you out the way, we have, oh man, I just, I think I just might have done something to the egg, I might have just stood in an egg, I hope I didn't break it, because you can't stand on the eggs or jump on them, because you will break them, and hostile mobs will actually come and, break the eggs if they get a chance, okay? So, what I would do is get some blocks and just protect it, okay? Um, so, I, I think the best way to do it is just to get some uh, some glass or something and just put it over the top because hostile mobs will come over here and just keep stamping on the eggs uh, until they're all broken, okay? You can get up to four laid at once. So, we've got that, as you can see. And they're protected in there and then turtles will hatch in there at some point. However, there's more to this, okay? 
Because what if you, you know, you want you want turtles, but you want turtles near a home. You don't want to be, like, far away. Because now it'll take about three or four Minecraft days, maybe more, for, uh, for this to hatch. And they seem to be, I can't say at all, but they seem to hatch mostly at night, okay? That's what I've, I've been able to tell. Um, like, they, they seem to hatch faster, and I, I, I can't say for sure. And they seem to only hatch on sand as well, but you can uh, have them, you can actually mine the block, like, if I mine the block underneath this, look at that, it just hovers, okay? So what you can do is, if you break this with your fist, it will break, if you break it with anything, it'll, it'll break. However, you can break it with a Silk Touch pickaxe and pick it up. So look, Silk Touch, and as you can see, it is down there. You see, it's a very, very tiny item, but I've got it now. So I now have a sea turtle egg in my inventory, okay? Yeah, don't ask where your uh, your egg went. Okay, I've, I've stolen it. So uh, <laughs> you've now got your sea turtle egg. So we're going to go and fly home. And we're going to go and plant it closer to home. And um, yeah, hopefully it will get a, a hatched egg. Oh man, this is not working, is it? Why why, is, why do these never work sometimes? Tell you what, firework rockets, the most broken thing in the game. Okay, I thought they'd fix it in the uh, end of the day. One thing they did fix though, they did fix pick block in survival, which is a a, a big thing that I've been wanting. Right, let's, uh, let's try again, take two. There we go, okay. Um, I think... This might be the wrong way, okay? Uh, it's over this way. All right. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to fly home, and then I'm going to, uh, yeah, just put down the egg somewhere. So here we are outside my house, and I think I'm going to actually try and put it in a very nice, safe place. Um, so I'm going to spawn the turtles in my house. <laughs> yeah, that's a great place to spawn turtles in. I'm going to have some house, uh, some turtles in my, in my house. You can't actually, um, you can't move. Them. Oh, wouldn't it be cool to have them in my, in my fish tank? Have turtles. This would be a great way to get turtles in my fish tank, actually. Yes, okay, this is the master plan here, all right? We're going to get our, an axe, okay? We're going to chisel out an area, okay? I, I don't think they need to be outside, otherwise, well, I'll find out if, if they do, because it's not going to work. All right, we're going to uh, we're gonna mine up a bit of this. Okay, does, is this even having a purpose? No, this glowstone doesn't really have a purpose, does it? Okay, I don't think there's any mobs in here, hopefully not. They'll just mess everything up. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get the sand, okay? We'll get the, the egg and the sand, all right? And we'll build a nice little safe room for them, all right? So there we go, this is just nice, isn't it? A nice little safety room. Uh, we're going to need to use a different block for the roof. So we'll just use that. Is pick block going to work? It worked in survival. There we go. Perfect. Because if you have it in your inventory in pick block, it will uh, it will go straight there. Uh, so then what we're going to want to do is... Uh, can we break... If we break that, what's going to happen? We're going to make sure that if I break a block... Okay, so I can't break two blocks. Okay, I need to make this a tiny bit bigger then, I think. Uh, so I can break this. You can see I've got all sorts of random colored clays back here, can't you? Uh, so if I go and break this, we can place a sand block here. And then the egg can go on there. So there we go. The egg has been planted. So it'll go through different stages of, uh, of, of being like cracked and everything until it eventually fully hatches. So uh, let's just go and uh, I'm going to grab a little bit more of this concrete. Uh, let's just go and uh, place down one here. There we go. And then that can go. Uh, and then we'll have one here. There we go. Guys, don't don't ever stand on an egg because it'll, it'll break. So now it looks like I am going to have to go <laughs> and get another egg. Are you kidding me? I broke it because I stood on it. I am such an idiot. Yeah, right. I will uh, I will go and find some... Well, I'll tr hopefully try and find those turtles or some other turtles, get a new egg, and I'll be right back. Okay, I breeded these two turtles. This guy looks like he's trying to get onto sand. Yeah, he's going to dig. Well, this, it's actually the mother, so it's this girl. She's going to go and uh, do her eggs. I'm going to get another silk touch one. How many eggs are you going to give me? I'm going to make sure I don't stand on them this time. I'm just going to let you move out of the way. Okay, it looks... Oh, well, it looks like we got four for that. You know what? Worth it. 100% worth it. And this is why you have to be so careful. So you can actually... I can actually show you this. Um, When you break it with a silk touch pickaxe, it breaks one by one. It doesn't break them all. So I get one egg, two egg, three egg, four egg, I think. Yep, there you go. I've got four sea turtle eggs. So now what I'll do is I'll go... This, is, this was a lot quicker than the last time. I made sure they were on land before I bred them this time. By uh, I just lured them out of the water with seagrass. That was the trick. Uh, so now what we can do is uh, build up and uh, and go home and uh, yeah take two on uh, on uh, uh, catching these eggs. Well, it's sad to say, but my elytra are broken. But I suppose I can show you now. No notice how undead mobs do not swim. Like this skeleton, if I push him underwater, you it'll, it won't swim. It'll just drown. And uh, I think now underwater they don't actually shoot arrows at you. They actually just come and hit you. Look, look at him. He's trying to. He punched me. Getting punched by a skeleton. How dare you? But also what I can do is I can uh, I can hit him. I can get some XP from that, and uh, it should. Slightly, yeah. You see, he's just slightly mended my life, ever so slightly, not much, but uh, but just enough. So, uh, well, not I'm not going to use them anymore. I'm just going to get home. Uh, so, what I also, uh, yeah, I think that's everything I need to do. I want to pick up a little bit of seagrass actually as well, just to show you another thing, because when your baby turtles 
I don't think there is seagrass here actually. Uh, there might be some further on, but it's not naturally generated one, is it? It's ones I've placed. But once you've actually hatched your uh, your baby turtles, they are absolutely tiny. I'm telling you, they're very, very small. And if you want them to grow fast, you can just keep feeding them loads and loads of seagrass and they will, uh, they'll grow. Um, you can grow them instantly, basically, with uh, with enough seagrass. I think I think it takes about 10 seagrass to, uh, to grow a, uh, a baby a baby turtle into an adult so you can instantly do it basically you can instantly go straight to adult turtles and then um, yeah so the only long process part of this is really just waiting for all the uh the, the eggs to hatch basically that's the long process part of it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the room ready first and then i'll plant it so that i don't need to go near it or do anything stupid um so yeah this is the place all right let's uh well let's just it's ready isn't it so let's go do all of this there we go and uh now we have to wait ages for these to hatch and uh Whilst I'm waiting, I'm just going to go and uh, quickly get some more seagrass. Okay, guys. Um, did you just see that? Um, that was super weird. It oh, <laughs> like what are the chances of that? <laughs> oh my goodness, that is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Um, yeah, I uh, just you know minding my own business, getting seagrass, and uh, out of nowhere. Um, it, oh, the gravel falls and a mob spawner appears. That is, um, that was crazy, okay? I'm going to grab the gunpowder. Oh, I'm a bit far away. I'm going to, yeah, grab the gunpowder as well. And uh, let's see what else is in this chest. Let's just stand here so we can get it. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave the name tag. I don't really need any, anything else. Um, yeah, that was, um, that was strange. Okay, well, I'll just uh, get back to collecting my seagrass. And I have now returned with a stack and nine of seagrass. So when these turtles hatch, they will be uh, they'll be ready to uh, <laughs> ready to uh, grow straight to adults. Okay, so I'm going to go in here. Do I have any blocks left? I uh, I have two glowstone. I'm just going to put that glowstone uh, just in this little thing here, just so I'm safe. And uh, yeah, no cracks at the moment, unfortunately. But uh, I'm just going to yeah sit here and uh, and wait for uh, the eggs to hatch. And there you have it. There are the uh, the turtles, my four little baby turtles. So that took about 50 minutes for those to hatch, those uh, those eggs. So that's kind of why you want to plant them near your uh, your house because then when they do hatch, you've got exactly what you uh, you know. The, well, when when you're about doing other things around your house and stuff, they can be hatching. That's basically the idea. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these guys. Uh, I'm going to give him some uh, some stuff. So let's give him some seagrass. Okay, and you keep doing it. And there we go. He has grown. He's much bigger than all his brothers, isn't he? <laughs> Make sure that I just how tiny these babies actually are. Um, so what I actually got there was a scoot, as you can see right here. It is a, a scoot. And this allows you to make a turtle shell if you get five of them. Uh, you only get one per grown one, so we're only going to get four this time, unfortunately. But I'm going to grow this as well. Hopefully you don't suffocate in the wall. That could be a problem. You're not going to suffocate. Okay, we're going to go and uh, grow this little fella. There we go. And finally, you can grow as well. In fact, you're... <laughs> so I'll let him grow naturally in the tank. <laughs> Let's, uh, I've made it so he can get in the tank as well. So you're going to go in the tank. Go on. Off you go. There we go. It's like flushing him down the toilet, I felt like. <laughs> right, we're going to put you down there as well. So I should have... I have three scoots at least. Okay, you're going to swim down now. Off you go. Is this a big enough? Is it big enough for four turtles? Possibly not. I might have to move some out after a bit, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Look, you've swum straight back out. Do you not like it in there? You go on. Get inside there. Go on. Go and say hello to the fish. It makes it a little bit more, you know, it's a lot of tropical fish. Let's let's have a look. Is this is there enough space for you guys in here? Alright, the turtles may have slightly taken over the tank. I might have to make it so there's only maybe one or two turtles in here. I might have to just get the other ones out. So uh, that that's doable though. I just have to get them to swim out up here or something. Or I'll, I'll possibly perish the thought I might have to, to kill them, but but I hope they don't come to that. But as you can see, I have three scoots right here. I'm gonna go and try and grow the baby one as well, see if we can do that. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. And you are going to... There we go. We have now four big turtles and I got the other scoot there. So, uh, yeah, five scoots make a, a shell. So I need I need more to, uh, to do it, which we can do another day. Uh, that, and you can see why I made this room a bit bigger now as well, just so that, uh, for, for, for safety things there. So, uh, because <laughs> otherwise there wouldn't have been space for those giant turtles, would there? Right, so now what I want to do is uh, go and put this all along there. There we go. I did have a ladder there. I don't think I need it anymore. Uh, so we'll go and get this oak wood. And uh, we can just leave this uh, this or like that. Uh, we also want to grab some more spruce wood planks. And then if we mine away at this, everything is back to normal. We can see outside and have a little look. How is it going? And uh, there we go. I, I, I think I, I was under the thing that you can only hatch at night, but it doesn't seem to be night. I mean, I don't know how far off night was, but it, it's possible. 
That it just hatched in the day and that the whole night thing is just a, a, a scam. No, but it is actually just getting to daytime, isn't it, actually? It's just been night. So maybe they did hatch in the night and while I've been messing about with them, it became day. I don't know. But you see, I've got these four scoots. I need more, though, to, uh, to do anything more of that. Yep, yeah, I think I think four turtles is too much. I think maybe one is probably enough. Or maybe they just need a completely different enclosure. That might be the other idea. Um, <laughs> I'll come up with something, don't worry. But yeah, getting them out of the tank is going to be a fun experience without losing all my fish. But we'll worry about that another day. At, at least, um, yeah, I got turtles in my fish tank like some people suggested. And now you can see why this is a tropical fish only one. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, some really, really good stuff added to this update. I can have my reward fish now. Don't want to forget about that. So if you want to do this, you know all, everything you need to know. Uh, everything you need to know. Um, so I'm going to just show you quickly. Uh, I can't do it from here. Let me go to here. So if I go and grab these, if you put one there and you'd have one there, it makes a turtle shell which works as a helmet, which gives you water breathing. I'll show you more about that in a future episode. Um, you can also use it when you craft that turtle shell, you can either put it as a helmet or you can use it to brew the potion of the turtle master. Oh, well, what's that? You'll have to wait and see. It's, it's not it's not that amazing, but it's, it's pretty cool. It could be useful in its situation. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and hopefully I will see you guys next time.